Who thought of cultured meat? How did it get to the point where it might soon be sold in grocery stores? Welcome to Yes Story. Artificial meat production, also known as cultured meat or lab-grown meat, is the process of growing meat from animal cells in a controlled environment. Lab-grown meat is similar to real meat because it is made from animal cells. Even though cultured meats aren't on the market yet, scientists are working on making them so in the next few years. John Vane, an entrepreneur in the field, was one of the first to see the potential of this technology and in 1998, he secured a patent for the production of lab-grown meat tissue for human consumption. This marked a significant milestone in the development of the lab-grown meat industry. Later, in 2001, NASA began experimenting with the production of cultured meats using starter cells from turkeys. The goal of the research was to find a sustainable food source for long-duration space missions, such as a manned mission to Mars. The scientists at NASA believed that lab-grown meat could be a viable option as it would eliminate the need to transport live animals into space, reducing the cost, complexity, and risk of such missions. NASA's experiment was a proof of concept, demonstrating that it is possible to produce meat in a laboratory setting. The research was conducted by a team of scientists and engineers at NASA's Johnson Space Center in collaboration with researchers from other institutions. The team was able to successfully culture meat cells and produce small amounts of turkey meat. This research was an important step in the development of the lab-grown meat industry and it helped to raise awareness about the potential of this technology. In the same year, a team of individuals including medical doctor Willem van Elen, businessman Willem van Kooten, and dermatologist Wheat Westerhoff jointly filed a patent for their process of producing cultured meat for human consumption. This patent was filed under the name Process for the Production of In Vitro Meat, and it outlined a method for culturing animal cells in a laboratory setting to produce meat for human consumption. This patent was one of the first patents filed for this technology. This team was among the first to recognize the potential of this technology to address the challenges of traditional meat production, such as environmental impact, animal welfare, and food security. In 2002, the first edible lab-grown meat sample was produced. It was a fish fillet made from cultured gold fish cells. This achievement was made by a team of scientists at the University of Utrecht in the Netherlands. The team was led by Dr. Mark Post, a Dutch physician and researcher, who is also known as the father of lab-grown meat. A year after, the Tissue Culture and Art Project, in collaboration with Harvard Medical School, successfully used stem cells from frogs to create tissue that resembled a steak. The project was led by Oren Katz and Ionitzer, two artists and researchers who were interested in exploring the potential of tissue engineering for art and design. The team used stem cells from frog embryos, which were able to differentiate into muscle cells, and then they grew the cells in a special culture medium. They were able to produce small pieces of tissue that resembled a steak in terms of texture and appearance. This was a significant achievement as it marked the first time that lab-grown meat had been created using stem cells, which could potentially be used to create meat from any animal. In 2008, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals PDA, offered $1 million to the first company that could successfully bring lab-grown chicken meat to the food industry. PTA is an animal rights organization that has been advocating for the development of lab-grown meat as a more ethical and sustainable alternative to traditional meat production. The organization believed that lab-grown meat could reduce the number of animals raised and killed for food and therefore improve animal welfare. PTA did extend the contest until the 4th of March, 2014, the 85th anniversary of Herbert Hoover's inauguration. The prize was intended to motivate companies to invest in the development of lab-grown meat and accelerate its commercialization. PTA's offer was an important step in raising awareness about the potential of lab-grown meat and the benefits it could bring to animal welfare and the environment. Many companies and researchers took up the challenge and since then, several companies have announced the development of lab-grown chicken and other meats.
however, as of our knowledge cut off. No company has yet claimed the prize, but several companies have been making progress and some have announced that they are close to commercializing lab-grown chicken meat. In 2009, Time magazine labeled the potential of lab-grown meat as one of the breakthrough ideas of the year. This recognition again brought significant attention to the field and helped to raise awareness about the potential of this technology to address the challenges of traditional meat production, such as environmental impact, animal welfare, and food security. After four years, Dr. Mark Post, a Dutch physician and researcher at Maastricht University in the Netherlands, made history by creating the first lab-grown beef hamburger. The burger was created by culturing cow muscle cells in a lab and then shaping them into a patty. This was a significant achievement as it marked the first time that lab-grown meat had been created at such a large scale and consumed by humans. The burger was cooked and consumed at a press event in London, England, in 2013. The event was attended by food critics and journalists who had the opportunity to taste the lab-grown beef burger. While the burger was not considered to be an exact replica of a traditional beef burger, it was considered a proof of concept and a significant step forward in the development of a more realistic beef burger. Maastricht University in the Netherlands now is known for its research on lab-grown meat that held its first international conference on cultured meat. In 2016, an engineered meat startup company called Memphis Meats released a promotional video showcasing their lab-grown meatballs. The company was one of the first to bring lab-grown meat products to market, and the video demonstrated that they were able to create a product that looked and tasted like traditional meat. In the same year, an Israeli company called Supermeat also ran a crowdfunding campaign to raise money for their efforts to bring lab-grown poultry products to market. The campaign was successful, and the company was able to raise the funds it needed to continue its research and development. In the following year, Finless Foods, an American company, announced that they expect to bring sustainable, lab-grown seafood to consumer markets within two years. The company was one of the first to focus on developing lab-grown seafood and it had been working on perfecting the technology and scaling up its production. In 2018, Dutch startup company Meatable made a breakthrough by claiming that they will be able to produce cultured meat from stem cells sourced from animal umbilical cords, thus solving the problem of needing to kill an animal initially to get starter cells for production. This eliminated the need to harm animals in the production process and it made the lab-grown meat process more sustainable and ethical. Both Finless Foods and Meatable, along with other companies in the field, are working on scaling up their production and making lab-grown meat more cost-effective in order to make it available to consumers in the near future. The process for lab-grown meat is still not fully commercialized, in the late 2021, few companies have reached lab to plate selling a small amount of meat at a high cost but not for a wide market. There is also a question on scalability and cost effectiveness. This is a promising field of research and companies such as Memphis Meats, Just, and Mosameed are all working to bring lab-grown meat to the mass market in the coming years. Memphis Meats is a San Francisco-based company that produces lab-grown meat using a process known as cellular agriculture. The company has produced lab-grown beef, poultry, and duck meat, which it aims to bring to the mass market in the near future. Just, formerly known as Hampton Creek, is a food tech company based in San Francisco. Its aim is to bring plant-based and lab-grown meat products to the market. The company produces plant-based egg products, including its own version of mayo and scrambled eggs made from lab-grown chicken cells. Mosa Meat, based in the Netherlands, is another company that is working to bring lab-grown meat to the mass market. The company uses a process called VAT Grown Meat, which involves growing meat from stem cells harvested from an animal. It's been one of the pioneers of the field of lab-grown meat and had one of the first lab-grown beef hamburgers in 2013. The main benefit of artificial meat is that it has the potential to greatly reduce the environmental impact of meat production. Traditional meat production requires large amounts of land, water, and energy, and is a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. In contrast, artificial meat can be produced in a controlled environment, 
using significantly less land and water and without the need for feed and the associated emissions. Another potential benefit is that it could reduce the risk of foodborne illnesses caused by pathogens such as E. coli and Salmonella, which are often found in traditional meat products. Thanks for watching. Please press the like button down below and share this video with your friends.